YouTube. This is Car Addict, and the presents are rolling in. I got a package yesterday, a couple today. Um, I have a few that um, aren't going to be here for a couple weeks, probably, or so, because, um, of course, they're back ordered, and the place won't even get them until the 28th. Then, hopefully, they don't get delayed, and then I get them from there. The one I'm going to share first, though, um, I actually got it from Extreme Powerhouse. Almost bought it from BMS. And if you know those places, you're probably thinking, why is this guy that drives a Honda Civic shopping at stores that sell BMW parts? Um, anyways, uh, growing up, you may have wanted a V-Box. So you look them up and you're like, wow, I can't justify that price. I mean, it's cool, but I don't need it. So I can't spend 500 bucks on it or 400 bucks on the sport. Um, I believe this was out in China for quite a while. Same hardware, different software. And I think the software is just different because of the region. Um, uh, anyways, www.godraggy.com. Uh, I think that's what it's called, Draggy. I'll link it down below. I got it from Extreme Powerhouse for 143 shipped. I was gonna go to BMS just because I know they have great service, but it was 149 and paid for shipping, or there was a shipping charge. Supposedly introductory pricing. And it'll go to $1.99 eventually, but I mean, we all know how that crap works. So anyways, in the package, comes out of the sleeve, and then you're looking right at the draggy. It's a little guy. Lift that up. There was this uh, USB cord. It's probably about two and a half feet long or so, and it's the flat style. There is two of these uh, 3M double side backed uh, metal plates because the drag is magnetic on the bottom because you gotta place it up on the dash it wants you to however I'm not gonna stick that on my dash so I got one of these little uh, really grippy flexible rubber things that basically hold on to about everything so Stick that up there to hold it. You can get that from Target probably for like three bucks or something. I forget where I got it, but I got a few of them. Last thing in there is the book. Now, it is very simple. Not much to it. What's in the box, what the ports and the lights are, get the app. Um, it doesn't even really tell you what the app's called. You just search Draggy. Uh, and then there's no QR code or nothing. Then it says press connect. The other side, it'll tell you it's connecting to satellite. Mount horizontally in the sky. Um, yeah, so there's the status, the speedometer, clear scores, and then if Draggy cannot be connected or failed to connect with satellite for minutes, plug and unplug the charging cable to reset it. Um, what you see, blue for two seconds is when it's online, blue breathes is the satellites offline and then blue pulses and they're online and when it says blue breeze it's like a slow flash I don't know why they just don't say slow flash and quick flash um, if it's red and breathing its satellites are offline with a low battery you're charging and if it's red flashing fast it's low battery but charging and satellites online um, okay so Bluetooth 4.0, iOS and Android, so that's cool. You can use it on both. Um, a little one cell lithium battery in there, 3.7 volts. Should work for eight hours, charged in an hour and a half. Okay, all right, so we'll look over the app on the phone real quick and then uh, go out and see just how accurate this thing could be. But I can only test it against my K Tuner data logs and I will assume that the timestamp on the data is pretty reliable, but it's just using the vehicle speed sensor data, and y'all, everybody knows the speedometer is not that accurate. I mean, it's not far off, so it'll tell me if it's like not even gonna be close, but um, I can't tell you if it's very far off. I All right, the app that's blue with the white circle. Open it up. <clears throat> And I've connected before, but this is a fresh install, so you'll see what it looks like when you start out. Um, so, hit connect. The light on the draggy turns blue. 
this takes a while until it gets to about 25% and then it climbs to 100 rather quickly from there. Okay, so about 35%. All right, so if you look in the upright corner, the battery, 76% in the draggy. Uh, looks like Bluetooth and satellite have full signals, three dots. It is not negative five degrees, so I'm not sure what that is up in the left corner. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to hit the bottom right tab. This is me. That is obviously not me, but um, you can change your photo, your username, and the weird part about location... Oh, I already had the app. Never mind. This isn't how you see it the first time. You have to accept, uh, like, it's not for use on public streets and uh, granted permission to device location, things like that. Here's the weirdest thing. Um, obviously, you can even tell there they're not, but I'm going to go to my state and watch some of these uh, towns. Everson. Edmonds. Well, V does not come before D. And Edmonds is even closer than Everson to me. So, they're not in order of distance. They're not in order of alphabetical. I guess they just put them in there as they thought of them, and they kept them in that order. I don't really understand that part. Okay. Then, on the leaderboard, you could see um, who the fastest ones that have shared so far and then at the bottom, if you tap, you can go through 0 to 60, 60 to 130, quarter mile, half mile, 0 to 130. So apparently Japanese cars can't do half miles or 0 to 130s. Uh, 60 to 0, braking, um, an eighth mile. I'm not sure why that's not over with quarter and half. Then on the go tab, you can actually press the plus sign uh, right there. Choose what kind of uh, test you want to do, and then you can also set a custom mode. Um, so I did 15 to 90 just because 0 to 15 is when I'm struggling for traction. So to get a better idea of actual power, I'll wait until I'm kind of going. The report would come down, I'm guessing, after you do it. I haven't used it yet, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, as far as that, I don't really think there's anything else to do. Um, so now we'll... Go try it out. All right, so I got the um, draggy up in the windshield. You can see it right there, and you can see it is uh, it is flashing and not breathing. So we'll go give her a test run. Costco parking lots are always entirely too damn crowded. It is ridiculous. Wow, my car is fast. Um, I had it running while I just drove to this spot without really trying. And I didn't even think I had it running. I just plugged my phone in and forgot to disconnect. Uh, I got a 0 to 30 of 52.27 seconds. Another one of 16.5. I got a 50 second eighth mile, a 61 second half mile, 32 second quarter mile. So this is a real rocket ship here. So now let's uh, reset it. I swear you got on deserted roads and there's nobody on it and then all of a sudden you want to drive like a jerk and now everybody else wants to come down this deserted road all right well whatever all right so we're connected the log is going we're sitting here gone zero feet zero miles an hour uh, I'm gonna leave econ on and I'm also gonna pump gas this is more of a comparison how they relate with each other than how fast my car is because it's 39 degrees out cold roads cold tires with my regular table, um, not economy, I can't get any traction at all. Zero to 60 of 
7.62. Eighth mile of 10.41. All right, so I'm in the app, um, not connected. I can go to the me tab, bottom right, history. Um, these aren't all that one that actually matters. Um, so in the zero to 60 on that one, you can see zero to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Um, I'll go back to the quarter mile one. And you can see this is the right run because this one has a eighth mile at 1041 at 76.99. And this eighth mile, 1041 at 76.99. So I'll just look at it in the quarter. Oh yeah, and if you press it anywhere on like the date or that little square with the pen, you can rename it. Or if you hit the time, then it brings up the uh, data like this. So obviously you can see where my quarter mile uh, ET is further than the thousand makes sense, but the trap speed is even lower than the eighth mile because I had let off before I got to the quarter mile. You could kind of see how the blue line on the graph too drops, um, and the acceleration in the orange line in the G's goes the other way because I'm under engine braking. So, um, either way for the eighth, the thousand, and the quarter. My K tuner data log does not show me distance, just time and speed. So the only thing I'm gonna be able to do is at those times, look up the speed and see if it's anywhere close. For the actual zero to 10, zero to 20, zero to 30 ones, I'll be able to show you those uh, for real. All right, so we'll go inside, check the data log out on the V2, just to see if any of it is close. All right, so this is the only way that I currently have to test the accuracy of the Draggy just because um, I don't have a V-Box to compare it to and surprise surprise uh, my backyard does not contain a drag strip so um, times and speed so on the speed end of it I'll look until there's just the first bit of data coming through on the speed sensor which is right here so I figure I'll use 29.99, that's the last time I wasn't rolling, according to my data log. And then I go until I hit 10 miles an hour. Take 31.388, subtract 21.990, and that's my 0 to 10 time that I'm using. None of it's going to be perfect because there was spinning where my wheels are telling me I'm doing a certain speed, but the draggy is telling me based off of GPS. So anyways, this is the actual testing that I have um, and I'll go over it with you in a minute and then at the end of the video I'll put up a screen full of data so you can read all the results compared to each other and I'll leave it up hopefully long enough for you to get through reading it if you want to all right so before I get to working on that pathfinder up there I'll tell you the data that I got um, I got everything from a draggy and everything from the uh, data log obviously uh, eight thousand and a quarter mile I don't have uh, times from the time from the data log just because uh, it doesn't cover distance like that. So I used the time from Draggy, looked up that time in the data log, and got the miles per hour so we can compare that. Um, and obviously for the miles per hour parts, any time I'm spinning, GPS will be much different than the vehicle says. But hopefully at the 10 mile an hour increments, there wasn't much spin. Anyways, uh, so we'll start at 0 to 10. Uh, Draggy says 1.39, timestamp says 1.398, but Draggy doesn't go to the thousands, only the hundredths, so you can kind of ignore that anyways, but then if this would round up probably to 1 1.4, 1.39. Um, 0 to 20, Draggy said 2.56, it was 2.44. Uh, 20 is near the top of second, so there's probably a lot of spin there. Uh, 0 to 30, which would be pretty much shifting into second. So there should still be a decent amount of spinning there. Uh, and I got 3.95 from Draggy. Uh, my data log says 3.091. So that's 8 tenths off. 
and I would imagine it's because I hit second, spun to 30 right away, and I didn't actually get to 30 until that time. Uh, 0 to 40, Draggy shows 5.14, 5.107, so it's within 23 or 33 thousandths. Um, that's not bad. 0 to 50, 6.21, 0 to 50, uh, 6.146, so again, I mean, what is that, 50 thousandths? And then 0 to 60, uh, Draggy said 7.62. Uh, the car says 7.582. However, usually your speedometer tells you you're going faster than you are, so these times on my data log should be better than these, even if in reality they're uh, correct. And then for the, uh... oh, I hurt my elbow the other day. Oh, all right. And then on the other ones, eighth mile, 10.41, 76.99, 10.41 seconds in my data log goes to 76, so it's .99 miles an hour off. Um, quarter mile, or we'll do the thousand, 13.16 at 88.62, 13.16 in my uh, data log, 89. So that was only .38 miles an hour off. Uh, quarter mile, 15.76 at uh, 72.85. 15.76 in my uh, data log, 72. So 0.85 miles an hour off. And uh, obviously, none of the times are that great. Quarter mile, you can tell I went off way early anyways. 7.62 to 0 to 60 does suck. But if you remember the way I launched it, I wasn't trying for a good time. I just wanted to compare these times. So in reality, I probably should have even done it easier to make sure I don't spin at all. So it could be even better comparison. However, that looks pretty good. I mean... That's one test. I'll do more and see how it works. I'll test it other places against actual timing systems too later on. But for now, I'm sold that that's an accurate way to measure. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. She won't do it, she's tired. Alright, we'll see you later.